proposition that we, we build and, and, and um, provide to our customers is very structured data. Quite often they will be using it to help bring structure to the data sets that they have inside their organization. Now that can happen in a number of different ways but that structure generally is very helpful in making artificial intelligence algorithms more effective because it allows you to bring data together in a much more consistent way across an organization and then you don't get the same sort of garbage in garbage out which is um, uh, an unfortunate tendency in some cases with, with, with AI. Banks have a lot of data about our customers and the ability to understand that data and um, be able to extrapolate from that how we can better serve our clients is incredibly important. A lot of times with a fintech partnership, at least in the commercial banking space, you're not, um, you're not reinventing the wheel. You're not bringing out a, uh, a whole new previously unconsidered opportunity uh, for your clients. What, you're tip what we're typically doing is we're building things out around the edges, trying to make our products that much more helpful and that much more robust. At the moment in the lab, we use uh, machine learning technologies, which basically look at data, learn from that data, and then they can predict uh, data or they can uh, understand that data. Um, artificial intelligence is, is the next evolution, really, because artificial intelligence means that technology will be self-aware, so it's more a technology that, that, that uh, it's, it's more a philosophical term than a technical term because then technology will understand why it is doing something. So maybe we will see in, a, in five or ten years the first real AI technology surfacing. That's going to be a very interesting point in, in, in the banking space because basically what we do at the moment is we can emulate uh, what users do, what the business does, what workflows does, but then we will see um, technology that will self-understand the workflows and it will can and it can then run workflows without having a lot of data on that. We're working on a fintech partnership to help our clients um, collect international payments uh, more easily. So international payments have always been a pain point the time that it takes, the you know, uncertainty around the fees. Some of those things have always kind of been a challenge um, with international payments, not to mention the exchange rate when you're dealing with different currencies. So we've already, based on the data that we have, we've already done some work around it to understand should we bother with this FinTech partnership in the first place? And then the next step is once we launch it, to be able to um, reach out to those clients and say, hey, we think we have a cool solution here based on your activity, would you be interested in hearing about it? What we do know in banking that it's not enough to build a new product and put it on the shelf. You have to take the next step and try to proactively bring it to your clients because again, they don't always know what's available, so you can't expect them to come looking for it.